What is going on, everyone? I want to talk some Eagles football, and I understand it's still OTAs going on, and there's only so much you can take out of OTAs, but one big thing that was stated by Lewis Riddick of ESPN and a very respected analyst when it comes to the National Football League, he claims that Carson Wentz is going to be the MVP next season. Now, I'm just going to paraphrase the concept on what he tweeted afterwards, and it's He is basing this off of things that he's seen. He's not just going out there and blowing it out of proportion and saying a crazy name and going out there with a hot take. He actually believes in Carson Wentz's ability to be that type of player, to be the most valuable player in the NFL because he's followed Carson Wentz. He knows what he can do with the football, what type of player he can potentially be. So he is basing this off of actual physicality and actual things he's seen and the arm strength and the the football IQ and, and things of that nature. It's not just a hot take, but this is my opinion on it. I don't care about Carson Wentz being the MVP, and I know that sounds stupid. This is how I mean it. I'm not going to sit here as a fan after Carson Wentz has been injured over the last couple years and say, I need Carson Wentz to be MVP. I don't need Carson Wentz to to be MVP. What I need Carson Wentz to be is himself. Go out there, play football, be Carson, go up to the line of scrimmage, kill, kill, read the defenses, make plays, have nice throws, make sure you go through your progressions, just be Carson Wentz. And if that ends up being the MVP at the end of the year, then by all means, that's what happens. But as a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles, I just need Carson Wentz to go out there and perform, stay healthy, be a leader, have the culture solid, Have everyone believe in you. Be the leader of this football team. And that's all I ask for out of Carson Wentz. Whether that is the MVP or not, I just need this guy to go out there and be true to himself. Be Carson Wentz. That's all I need. And realistically, can that go hand in hand with the MVP? Sure. Sure. And I love the fact that people who study the game at the level that Riddick does, I'm pumped that he believes that Carson Wentz can be the ultimate most valuable player of the season. That's awesome to hear. That's not a bad thing to hear, and I'm not saying that he's making it seem that Carson Wentz has to be, but my standpoint on it, the way I view things when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles, and specifically Carson Wentz heading into next season after all the injuries that he has been a part of, I just need the dude to be available. Be available. I've been a Carson Wentz fan for so long. We all know that when it comes to the Folsian society and Carson Wentz, I'm team Carson all the way because that's the right move based off of his skill set and the future that he has. I need the guy to be available. I need the guy to just play his game. Don't overthink. Last year, I thought that there were times where he didn't go up to the line of scrimmage as much as he did the year previously, and he didn't kill, kill plays, and he was double-guessing things, and, and was that due to the fact that he had a bad knee, which related to a bad back and all of that? I'm sure it did. Imagine playing an NFL game where you have a broken back and, and coming off of an ACL injury, all right? It's not easy. So what I just need out of Carson Wentz is to be himself. Be true to himself, be available, go out there and play. I don't demand MVP. I don't demand it. it would I love it? Of course, but but it, it, it's it's really nothing to me. How many times have Super Bowl champions not won the MVP? It's similar to the NBA. Oh, James Harden, the Greek freak, they're in discussion for the MVP. Oh, that's great. The MVP, that's great. What does that get them? They're not playing in the finals. So it, it's just something that... For personal things, sure, it's great for his personal records and whatnot. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything, is essentially what I'm getting to here. It doesn't mean anything. So for that to be my focus on where I want Carson Wentz, of course I want it, but I, I, I don't think of it like that. I just I just don't think of it like that. So with that being said, let's head into OTAs and keep in mind, take it for what it is. I'm not going to sit here and tell you every throw that Carson Wentz makes in OTAs is, is the most special thing in the world. But apparently today, Carson Wentz was 
actually ridiculous with this arm. His arm was unreal. The ball was coming out at an elite level, and he was throwing the ball downfield perfectly. And a couple ones that were noted, because apparently the reporters, the beat reporters and everyone following the team couldn't even choose one specific play. There were multiple ones. Deshaun Jackson, a p- in perfect stride, pass right by Avante Maddox, who was defending the play pretty damn solidly. There was a Ertz touch pass. How about the wording on this? One pass that was threaded to Jordan Howard. And then there was, an, in the red zone, there was an opportunity for J.J. Arcega whiteside and Carson Wentz back shoulder pass. Perfect execution right to him. And J.J. Arcega whiteside was able to capitalize and make the play. So these are some noted put asterisks next to it, star plays out of today's OTAs where Carson Wentz looked great, looked phenomenal. And I'm not going to take so much out of it, but this is what I always tell myself when looking into OTAs and how specific players are doing. What's the alternative? What's the opposite? Well, he could either absolutely suck and miss all of his throws and look like a trash can, or he can look like this. Pick your poison. Pick your poison. I know this doesn't mean he's, he's going to go undefeated this year in, in, in the regular season. I know that's not what this relates to. But what's your alternative? What's the other thing that can happen? Well, you can look horrible. You can be bad. You can be missing a lot of throws. Or you can have a rocket arm and everyone be praising and, and kind of wide-eyed. It seems like a lot of the beat reporters and everyone covering the team right now when looking at Carson Wentz, not that they're stunned, but... They're shaking their head like, okay, let's go. This is what I love to see. This is what I am pumped about. Now, in regards to other guys, there are still a few players not there. There's a lot of players who are there, but they're not practicing. And there's a whole list on it. And and to be completely honest with you, it's, it's not time to dive into things like that. But one person I will say has been solid is that undrafted linebacker TJ Edwards from everything I've read up on this guy he was breaking up plays he was making special plays he had his hands there involved he was breaking up passes they're they're pumped so far with TJ Edwards and and once again I'm not going to tell you he's going to be our starting linebacker but they are thrilled with what they have seen so far out of TJ Edwards which is one of the guys that had the most praise being undrafted when coming here to Philadelphia and last uh Donovan McNabb is in the news again, and I just figured I'd throw it out there that this man is is talking and saying he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, and look at his numbers, and he had better numbers than all these other guys, but they have more Super Bowl rings, and listen, as much as I've bashed Donovan McNabb over the last year or so for his noise, and I, I respect his career, and he does have decent numbers. For me, personally, as much as Donovan McNabb was a, a key piece to this organization throughout those times and throughout Andy Reid and getting to the NFC Championships games, with all that being said, I firmly believe that Donovan McNabb is a player that is fringe Hall of Fame that just isn't there. And I know rings, I, I, I personally believe that rings do get overrated but they still have a lot of value at the same time and when it comes to Donovan McNabb is that the difference on him getting in or not if he had one or two Super Bowls does he get in yeah maybe 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 he does but for me looking at it I think he had a a great career let's not deny it he had a great career it wasn't uh, perfect but it was it was a solid career that most people would take at the quarterback position and when you look at the numbers there are some that can relate there are some that can't relate to the hall of fame and i think he just comes up shy just just short and that's no knock on his personality that's no knock on the way that he he carries himself outside of the game at this point and outside of philadelphia sports because we all know that there seems to be a disconnect between the fan base and Donovan McNabb, but it's as simple as this for me. I don't think he he has enough. He's just shy. So with that being said, I want to know your takes on this. I want to know what do you think about Lewis Riddick's comments and what is the most important thing for you when watching Carson Wentz this year? Does it have to be MVP? Is it that high or is it just be available? 
And in terms of what we've read so far on the OTAs in Carson Wentz, I'm, I'm sure you'll be pretty pumped about it because it seems very promising from what we've seen so far. And I also want to hear what you have to say on Donovan McNabb because every time the guy's in the news at this point, it's very interesting for us Philadelphia Eagles fans. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. I want to hear your comments. Thank you. See you next time.